I was taking a little nap and um, I was listening to K Tid K Did's uh, video about her dream um, about the Star Wars war, and I really do feel we're on the cusp of something, you know. And I'm not going to set a date, but uh, what I was getting. I just got the phrase, you're either going to fall forward or you're going to fall backwards in a phrase. And, um, you know, we need to fall into the arms of Jesus. And that is really important right now. As grace people waiting for the rapture, God wants his people saying, okay, I surrender every form of righteousness every form of trying to stand in my own shoes in this deal and merit your coming, merit a position in your coming, merit the ability to stand before you. And, you know, I mean, it's interesting because I just did that study a few weeks, uh, days ago about, I don't think, Pray that you may be counted worthy to stand before him, escape these things coming on the earth and stand before the Son of Man. That word escape is talking about, in context, it's talking about running to the mountains. Uh, and the first usage of it is Lot when he escapes and runs to the mountains. And in Luke, it's talking about running to the mountains in 70 AD. Or running to the mountains at the abomination of desolation. Either way, that word of escape is you running. This is different. We need to fall forward into the arms of Jesus. That's where we need to be right now. Not getting ready to do something. And not getting ready to be holy enough or be meritorious or anything of the flesh, or anything of ourselves. This is Jesus' day. This is his day to stand up. And this is his day to declare and roar. And we are to be hidden in him. And even the rapture will be us going into a hiding place. It's not our hour. Although it'll be our reward. And it's really important right now. I mean, that's the theme of this channel is to be assured and be confident and enter your rest and enter into the Lord's house with singing, you know, because he's done it all. And I have nothing and can do nothing. That is the position of a dependent bride on her husband. And I don't know why it's so important for us to be ready for his coming because he's going to snatch us anyway whether you're asleep or awake however the best portion is for those who are resting in their lord and so anyway you're going to fall forward or fall backwards and in this case you know i'm thinking about the picture where you know at camp where everybody does a little trust game and they fall backwards into the arms of everybody this is the opposite, because in this case, fall backwards is a negative thing, and fall forward is grace. Fall forward is trust. That's the sense I got when I got this little phrase. I don't even know what it is. It's just fall. you're either going to fall forward or fall backward. And especially in the United States, what's about to come, if you are trusting in yourself and trying to establish yourself in your own righteousness or in your own strength which is what this country is all about gearing up you know trump is like the archetype of standing in your strength standing in your own power and resources wealth you know this idea that we can just stand and do it. That's what this country is about. Those people, whoever they are, are going to fall backwards. And it's going to be a calamitous fall. But we 
as the bride of Christ, who are trusting only in Christ and not in our own righteousness and not in anything we have, are falling forward to the finish line. And it's a gentle fall for us. Uh, I don't know what else to say. You're either going to fall forward or fall backwards. And we want to fall forward into the hands of the Lord. Amen.